Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we are going to talk about the thing. Like about 10 or 11 months ago, we made a video about the potential rating for Venom 2. And we had a big conversation about how the, there are people out there that think the only way to make this movie is to make it rated R because that's the only way you can be accurate to Carnage. And we keep, ha I have to keep making the same point over and over to those arguments. They, people who make that argument, they're like, I'm a Carnage fan. I know everything about the character. And I'm telling you right now, I'm planting my flag. I'm dying on this hill. It has to be rated R to be accurate. Now, if you want the movie to be rated R because you want to see like violence or things like that, I mean, that's a little you know weird <laughs> that you won't think about story first and you're just thinking about seeing people get ripped in half and that's somehow important to you. But okay, let's go with that. That's okay. That's your opinion. And I don't agree with that opinion. I don't think, you know, that we need all that stuff to tell a good story, but all that stuff has to be planned from the start when they're first making the movie and filming it. And they didn't plan that for this movie. So just like 10, 11 months ago, I'm telling you, this movie is going to be rated PG-13. The first one was PG-13. It was a massive success. It made them a ton of money, almost a billion dollars at the theaters. But after you count DVD and Blu-ray and digital sales, it did go over a billion dollars. So it made them a ton of money off a $100 million budget. Hollywood doesn't change. If something works like that, they keep it the same the next time. Plus, it's the franchise that they want to tie in with Spider-Man. So it doesn't make any sense to make this movie rated R. So beyond that, if that doesn't convince you, which is fine, you can still have the opinion that you would like to see this movie rated R. But if you have the opinion that this movie can only be rated R to make Carnage accurate, then you are wrong. That is not even, I mean, that's an opinion you can have, but it's based on no facts. Normally, when you have an opinion on something, you try to back it up somehow. If you just say, hey, I'd like this movie to be rated R, you don't have to back that up. That's just you saying that's what you would like, and that's fine. And there are some people that want to see this movie either way. Like me, I don't care what it's rated. It can be R, PG-13, whatever it is, as long as it was planned from the jump and that they you know, executed it according to that you know so if they had in mind a pg-13 movie which i'm pretty sure they did as long as they just execute it well and do the best they can then that's what i want to see um, but if they try to change things last minute to make it r just to fit an r rating for people out there who want a little bit of violence extra violence in this movie i don't want that i don't want like that kind of weird pandering uh and i don't want that uh to affect the overall franchise that this is going to be um, i would like to see this the way andy circus envisioned it and the way Kelly Marcel wrote it and the way Tom and everyone acts and performs in it. Uh, that's what I want. So if it's R, great. If it's PG-13, I don't care. But when people say it has to be R to be accurate, again, you can't really have that opinion. I mean, you can, I guess. Nobody's stopping you. But you can't back it up with jack shit. Uh, there's no evidence to support that. Because if you look at the history of Carnage in comics, cartoons, and you know every, other mediums like video games, He's always been in T-rated, T-plus rated, PG, or PG-13. That's all he's ever been in, except one comic. Just one. You know, before I thought it was four comics, because I actually saw a couple comics with the parental advisory labels on them. So these are the four comics right here, uh, you know, demonstrated by our friend Venom the Duck. I thought these four comics were all for mature audiences only, because two of them say parental advisory on them. And they say not for kids underneath. And that's Deadpool versus Carnage. And that's Axis Carnage, the miniseries, both of which we covered on this channel. But I actually went online and looked up what parental advisory means for comic book ratings. And it says here that it is appropriate for 15 years and up, which is the equivalent of T plus and PG 13 ratings for movies. So. There you go. Two comics have now been taken out of the equation. Those are not mature rated, and we are just left with Mind Bomb and It's a Wonderful Life. And if you actually look at the covers of both of these books, Mind Bomb is not rated mature. It doesn't say it on the cover. Now, I looked through the book. We've read it. We've talked about it on the show here. I feel like it's borderline. Like, it's pretty intense. There's some scenes where intestines literally get ripped out of people. But all of it's in Carnage's mind. It's not actually happening on the page. So I think that's where they kind of walk that fine line. But It's a Wonderful Life is a lot more gruesome and a lot more body horror in it. You have Kyle Hotz doing a great job on art for both of those books. And they're just very intense visually. But only It's a Wonderful Life says mature rating on it. That's the only one. The other one doesn't say it, but I will give it to you. I will say those two one-shots that came out in 1996, 
those are the two books. Technically one, but we'll give you the Mind Bomb one too, since there's some scenes in it that are pretty intense. But those are the only two books in Carnage's whole existence from video games, cartoons, and comics. The only two times ever that he's been in something that could be considered mature rated. Uh, and that's it. That's the only times. So when you say Carnage can only be done accurately in rated R for a movie, you are wrong. You can have that opinion, but you're wrong. Uh, because most of the stories you've read and enjoyed over the years with Carnage have been PG, PG-13, T, or T+. Those are just the facts. So people want to dispute it. They want to fight all the time. They want to argue over this. Have your opinion, whatever. But you can't back it up with anything. You can back it up with two comic books versus 98% of every other interpretation of Carnage that is the exact opposite. So no, only... You can only do Carnage uh, in any way you want. You can make them R if you want, like they did in those two comics, or you can make them PG-13 friendly, like they've done for the whole rest of his career. So to say you can only do one way is ridiculous. I'm not even saying the only way you can do them is PG-13, because you still got those two comics that prove that he can be done another way. But you definitely can't say that he can only be done in rated R to do him justice and do him accurately. That's incorrect, because every visual you're trying to think of right now, where he pushes an old lady down the stairs, his grandma, or kills the dog, or whatever, like all those scenes, most of them happened off panel, and your brain filled in all the horrible gore, you know, gore and stuff that you want to see. Uh, your brain filled it in. And so that's not on the comic. The comic didn't do that. It suggested it. And your brain filled in the gaps. That's exactly what this movie can do if it's done well enough. And it can still be hardcore for PG-13 or it can still do justice, let's say, to Carnage at a PG-13 rating. So that's it. That's all I want to talk about. You know, I know I've been mentioning lately that I'll be blocking people when it comes to stuff. That is only for the people that come to this channel often and they know what buttons to push of me that get me upset. Like for example, asking me when a trailer's coming out and stuff. If people are new to the channel and they come in and say, hey, have you heard any info about the trailer? Have you heard any of this? I will send them links to the video about the trailer that we just did. And if they want to talk about the rating, I'll send them a link to this video. That way they can watch it. You're here now, hopefully, and you can watch this and just see what my opinion is. And you can leave your opinion and all your comments down below. But in my live streams and everything else we're doing moving forward, that's how I'm going to handle it. If I see a new person ask me, I send them the link to this, and then we move on. We move on from the topic, and we go on to the hundreds of other things we got to talk about with Venom this season and things that we got to wrap up and, and talk about. Those are way more important to me than keep you know than keeping coming back to these same two topics of fake trailers and the rating of this movie. If you want this movie to be R, that's fine. But you need to give yourself some wiggle room to accept it at PG-13. Because there's a lot of people out there that are like, this movie's going to suck if it's not rated R. That's, you're not given, you're not being fair to this movie. You're not being fair to the people that are making it and the story they're trying to tell. Now you can watch the movie and have that opinion after and say, you know what? This would have been better if this scene was more gory or if they did this and this scene. But we won't know that till after the movie comes out. So for now, it just seems silly to me to keep having these arguments and keep running in circles talking about these same two topics. So in my live streams and all that, I'm just going to ignore. If it keeps persisting, I will block. And I don't care. People, you know, I've already gotten some DMs. My first video hasn't even gone up yet. And I've already gotten a couple of DMs, you know, after some of my posts. And they're like, dude, don't block people, you know, this and, you know, and I'm like, hey, I don't care. Like, it, it, I got to look out for me, too. And I'm trying to run a show here. And when I do my live streams, I'm trying to run a show and I'm trying to stay on topic and do these things. You guys know how I am about topics. If I make a DC episode, I like to talk about DC. If I make a toy episode, I like to talk about those toys. When other things come in, I don't like that. I, like, I do that on Seek and Destroy episodes where we do AMAs and we can talk about anything under the sun. But I like to stay on topic on my other videos in case people who make these products or make the stuff I'm talking about watch the video. They're only hearing us talk about the thing they made. That is my standard for this show. If you don't like it, go watch another YouTube channel. I, I, that's fine with me. I do things a certain way here, and you don't have to like it. And you don't have to accept it, but this is how I do things. Uh, so, again, I'm not here to just block people willy-nilly, but people who are habitual with uh, you know bugging us about these same two topics, 
Yes, I'm going to block you because I'm just assuming at that point you're just trolling and you're not actually here to have fun on this channel. And that's what we're here to do. We're just here to share our love for Venom. And that's all we're here to do. We're not hurting anybody. You know, we're not doing anything that warrants that kind of treatment. But some people out there like to treat other people like that just because. Because there's a hole in themselves and a hole in, you know, in their personalities or in their souls or something where they just, they have to hurt other people because they're miserable and they hate themselves. And that's what happens a lot of times on these channels is you just get people people who hate themselves and then they try to high road you afterwards so after you say I'm blocking you that they're like they're like oh dude don't be like that you know and they try to take a higher road or something like that you know and uh, it, it's pathetic it's so pathetic it's like don't puff your chest and then when you get spit slapped uh, then try to act like you know you're some kind of victim uh, don't do that. Uh, we're better than that here, and you're better than that as a person. So start loving yourself and start treating yourself better and stop going to YouTube channels and stop coming here and just doing stupid shit like this. It's not worth it uh, because, again, we're just here to talk about Venom and we're here to have fun, and that's it. That's all we're here to do. So if you can't get down with that, there's plenty of other YouTube channels you can go and, and piss around on uh, who don't you know, have any standards and, and just talk about whatever the hell you want them to talk about. But we don't do that here. So sorry about that. But if you guys uh, you know, have anything you want to say about this video, let me know down below. I'm willing to listen to your opinions here. But after this, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to your opinions on these two topics. You can put all your comments in this video and the previous video. And after this, we're moving on to bigger and better and more interesting things than just talking about these two same things over and over. So thanks for watching. See you in the future. Peace.